Hello everyone! We're back in Las Vegas in the heart of the World Series of Poker for one of the biggest tournaments on the pro calendar, the $10,000 Six Max event. 329 players took part in the event, and after 14 hours of play over two days, there are only 60 players still in the running for their share of a $3 million prize pool. Only 50 will be in the money, so the bubble is not far away, and among those who'd like to get in is Joao Vieira, with around 70 blinds to set the pace in the game. Your turn, Joao! Break did me good. I found some hands. Not a strong hand. Still a hand I can open. Bubble is getting close. Have a big stack also. Just check guy. Regular. Forgot his name. Pretty good. The final table of the World Series of Poker Main Event. Don't think with him for a long time. So he got a big stack as well. Very 3-bet happy. So this could be interesting. Could have some interesting spots in the bubble. Well, it looks like we have the first one already. Okay, 42. Hmm. This is a tough spot. The bubble is not so close. I think I can just... I can just defend. How much of the raise? Closer to the bubble, it gets a little harder. I have to play a little more passive, pick my spots a little better. I still have a solid stack. And I don't want to be folding too much, because you can really get out of line, and if it wins the chip lead, you can just start going bananas. That's not so good for me. So I want to keep my de minimum defense frequency kind of Solid. Mm, six is there. It's not much of a troubling hand. It can still have some reverse implied. I can still check call one. And, mm, significant part of my stack. Especially if the blinds go up. And I keep the stack. Uh, I, th I think it's just three bets a little too wide. I think I'm going to have to defend. He's really aggressive and I can't just be folding sixes. Even though it's, it's a weak hand. Probably folding fours, threes, deuces. But I think sixes I'm calling, sevens I'm never folding. So I think six is just a call, even though it's closer to the bubble. If I was shorter, for sure fold, but no, I'm, I'm, my stack is still alright. I have quite some nice implied odds when I hit my my set. Let's try to hit that set. No, no, I guess. Whatever. Goodbye to those chips. Most likely on a CC bet. Time to get the card dead. My stack is still all right. Was it like that slow? And a lot, and some yeah, much late. Some of them actually bought in, so yeah. yeah, but bought in for for twenty five or something. Thank you. 
Okay, I can open this one. Button is on the short side. We got about 25 bigs. With the bubble being close. Big blind I expect also to play a little tighter. Even though he has some chips. Hmm. Just thinking about it. I really love the tree bed. Okay. That's a good sign. He's not going for all of those. Using some calls. I don't know what he has. We probably could have been a 3 bet. So that's a good sign that he didn't. Some respect, some restraint. Not the best hand through way, but let's see what he can do. I think we can do something with this. It's not the best flop especially after the small blind flats you can have some of those but my ace of hearts make it a pretty trivial t-bet pretty key card i can still win on the flop obviously still some chance that they they follow it's not that big but it can still happen and then when the heart comes i had a really powerful bluff can maybe barrel some other cards. Person the big blind. Maybe some king or some jack I can actually barrel versus big blind, not versus small blind. Okay. This is not the, it's the worst scenario. We got called by the small blind, which is a pretty solid range on this board. Huh, interesting card. Hmm, do I go for it? Got a pair now, I can win Ace Jack. I can win King Jack. I can also win Jack 9 or King 9 2 did. I got some shot on Valley. Obviously I got a pretty strong draw for the hearts. Ace and 7 will also be a powerhouse. I think I'm just gonna play it tight. Three way is probably a bluff, but heads up, I think it would just be an over bluff. I got some showdown value. I got a lot of bluffs, natural bluffs, without a pair. So this is just, I think it would be a way too, too much of an over bluff to just put a seven in my betting range. Seven with the ace of heart. You don't want to go do that, especially close to the bubble. Not the best card, but I can still win all those hands. I can still win King Jack. I can still win Jack Nine if suited. And I can still win King Nine suited. Even though some of the hands are gonna three bet, especially the Jack Nine suited and King Nine suited hands I shall three bet with some frequency. I win Ace Jack, but I don't think Ace Jack is tank checking like he is. Okay, it's Jackie doesn't have no more. Ooh. But maybe he doesn't have King Queen no more either. Maybe pot size King Queen. I could have the 10 sometimes. That's interesting. Why'd you go so big? It's, it's kind of on the polar side. Meaning that he's got a 10 of flush or just bluffing. He's gonna have a lot of 10s. He can have a 10, he's gonna call his 10 on the flop. Maybe a 10 off, he could have king 10. Small chance he has queen 10. Jack 10 suited, I think that 3 bets. Jack 10 off doesn't call probably. 10 9 suited, calls flop, probably does. 10 8 suited as well. Got some tens. I got a good blocker. I blocked the ten that's most likely. That's ace ten, but he, he can three bet that sometimes. And I blocked the flush. Got a pr I got an amazing bluff catch. I don't bluff. King Jack. I don't bluff. I don't block. 
Jack nine. And I do block the value, but hmm. he's gonna three bet some of the versions of the King Jack suited and Jack nine suited. Maybe he doesn't have Jack nine suited that often. Can he have a queen? If he has a queen, this is trouble. But I don't think he has a queen this big. Not, not very often. Maybe king queen. But I don't think he goes this big. Why do I look like a... I could have a lot of good hands. I could have a queen. I could have a 10 that I protect the flop. I could have a slow blade. Flush. But... Hmm. How much do I have? I got like 120. 220. 240. This impacts my stack quite heavily. It's a really big decision. I have to consider bubble. It's not for my whole stack, but I will be far more crippled than I would like to. So this will affect how much if I get the call wrong. I'm gonna have to lose a lot of equity in the bubble just folding 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 trying to get into the money if i keep this stack i'm still healthy obviously if i win i'm still a cheap leader because it still has more than me but i got a little better hmm it's gonna have i can have some 10 get a king 10 off you can have a king 10 off he's 10 off that's a lot of combos but eight combos plus six Flashes. Not many flashes. Yeah, very few flashes. Fully always bluff. Like the thing is, that can he has bluffs, but he may not bet this big with the bluffs. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't know. It's a good sizing to make with some of the values because I'm gonna call some hands regardless. I'm always gonna call 10 or more. Most likely always gonna call a queen that doesn't have a jack. Some of my bluff cats are quite, oh, I don't know, oh, I don't know. See if I can make this right. Big blind and small blind are playing really tight because they're short, so let's try to see if this 9-7 suited can do the job. something over there. I don't know much about this player. Clearly a professional. But I have no experience with him. Alright dealer, give me diamonds. That's not diamonds, but that's not nothing either. Really cool open-ended. It 
it's a board that hits him a little bit more than me. Well, there's a lot about controlling here in this plot. Either with some weaker tens, even some over pairs want to play medium pot for sure. All the ace highs, especially medium ace highs. Okay, check, check. Seven of clubs. That's a good card. I'm most likely ahead now. Uh, wonder do I, hmm, do I, I can just, if I check again. My hand is kind of protected. I could, if I check, it's gonna look like I have some kind of ace high. Maybe it's gonna uh, pick up some hands to bluff, something like queen nine, king, king jack, queen jack. I'm gonna check and just try to play a small pot. Most likely just check call, check call. If he decides to bet. Okay. Probably has some, what is he? He probably has some ace high or some kind of pair. Five of hearts doesn't change anything. I think I can go for value safely. I don't think he's gonna bluff that often on this river. If he would have bluffed, he probably would have bluffed by now. He still has some hearts that I, that I won. Deuces, threes, fours, ace five, ace, maybe ace queen and ace jack that he doesn't believe me. I think I'm gonna go like one, I'm gonna small, one third or one fourth. One third is all right. Hmm, didn't hit the muck. He didn't snap, so I'm, I'm good. Can't lose. Doesn't have a better seven. Doesn't have better than sevens. Those hands would have called by now. He's smiling, so he's not raising. He's counting a call, that's also good. I like it. I like this spot. Looks like I'm gonna get paid. And for sure looks like I'm gonna win. Well, the way the way he picked his chips, like I'm about to call, it felt like it was like something like threes or deuces or something like that. Like uh, I really felt like, oh, I have a hand. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to call. Have a pair. But I think that would have called by now. Queen or ace jack, maybe? Could be. Something like that. It should have something like ace queen, ace jack, or fours, threes. Even though it's less likely, I'm gonna say fours, threes, or and deuces are what he has. Because he picked up the chips really fast, like I'm about to call them. Because I have to pay. No, 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 no. Oh. Good fold, buddy. I have it. 200. Got about 30 bigs. To be quite on the tight side now. Bubbles close. Can we get. Hey, go ahead. Can we get cocktails? Bob, you're a genius. I'm sorry <laughs> for ever doubting you. Boy, stick is now raising a lot of hands. Like a lot of hands. It's close to the bubble and exploiting it. You raised to 17. I think I'm gonna go for it. I just, I just. Two hands ago, we just pretend to look at his cards. He just raised the eye jack without looking it. He, he didn't squeeze high enough to see the card, so I think he, there's a good chance to open like 100% from button cutoff eye jack. 
and then just 80 90 percent from the other situation even though my hand is good i don't think he has enough hands to defend versus a tree bet strong too because it's raising from early and even though he's he should be raising a lot of hands not 82 it's just this kind of spots just become very very good for me he's the kind of guy that can easily blast off and just jam wide but he's gonna have so many Queen three off. What is he gonna do with queen three off? Is he gonna jam queen three off? Nah. He ain't gonna do shit. He <laughs> freaking doesn't like to fold. Go on. There you go. Nice one. That's a cool one. Get my stack healthy. Six away from the bubble. You still in? Yeah? <laughs> Fucking old man. 13 BB. <laughs> How many left? 13 BB, like 28. Okay, okay, now, now it's a real fucking tournament. Yeah, yeah. Now it's a real fucking tournament. You need just a double up and after four eight. It's tournament, you know, yeah. up and down. Yeah. It's okay, like, I, know you li I like your vibe for this one. <laughs> I like your vibe because you're happy. Like sometimes you're in the 5k, like no stress, yeah. serious. Now you're uh, like, oh, I'm cool. Like, like almost like a joke. Like, yeah. uh, like when it's gonna be so funny. But now it's not a joke now. Yeah, like, yeah, 20, yeah. 28, 28, yeah. 28, 28 is real, <laughs> real tournament. Bruno is playing the seniors event. What an OG. Cool Shen. NTM. What a legend. Hope he wins the, the seniors. Hope he does it. Would be so cool. A lot of patience, a lot of folding. Play some poker. So we finish. Yeah, I got solid stack. I'm not too bad. 18 BBs. You can still play around. It's average should be, I would say, 35 BBs. Haven't looked at the clock in a while. It's an interesting one. I'm the hijack. But big blind and small blind are very short, so I'm not actually shoving 18 bigs. I think I'm just gonna open rip it. I deny a lot of equity and my hand's good enough. Even versus cut off and button 18 bigs, it's, it's not that over big of an overshove. I think it's fine. Too weak to raise call. Has enough equity, but I think he just plays better than the show. I'm gonna just have a rip. All in. All in. Five hand, I think I'm alright. Then you were thinking, I think he has like 11 bigs, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay. Maybe he 
got some kind of over cards, suited over cards. I was thinking about maybe a smaller pair. Double burst, voice tech I think is back to playing normal poker now with this super wide ranges. Usually when the bubble burst the chip leader, it's aware how, much, how many hands he played, so it usually tightens up a little bit. This can go either way, but like I just said, I think he, yeah, yeah he's probably not opening as wide as before. Probably even tighter than normal. This hand plays well as call, plays well as shove. I'm gonna call. Thinking that his range is a little on the tight side now. There's a bunch of short stacks on the button and small blind. I only have 20 big, so I don't think this is going out of line. I think his range is quite on the legit. Actually quite legit. Solid flop. Actually, I flop a monster. So short, I got top pair, good kicker. Let's see how it does the button. Versus small, I think I'm just gonna raise and get it in. My hand is pretty strong. If it goes big, I'm probably gonna go flat. It goes medium. Hmm. Versus medium. Hmm. Why is it betting so? Quite strong bet on this board. Not that he's not gonna bet bluff on this board. I don't know if he's gonna bet this big on this board. If he's betting ace five a diamond, he's not going this side. So he should have some equity. He's gonna have either a jack, jack or better, obviously. Oh, he's gonna have. What he's gonna have? He's gonna have. He's gonna have spades. Ace ten with the spades. King queen, king ten with spades. So his range is a little stronger now. Still, obviously. Not folding, not going anywhere, but I think I'm just gonna call and see the turn, what the tr turn brings. But I don't think I have a monster anymore. I thought I did, and I usually do. But this sizing is... And he's always looking at my stack like he's trying to... to put it in, like trying to make a sizing that he can just shove. What kind of hands are those? Spades? Spades will do like that. Spades will will try to size up and shove. Ah, boy. I don't think he has spades. He just double checks his cards. One, oh, I'm not happy about this. Can I fold this? This is such a monster. This is an insane fold. There's two flush draws on the turn, I mean. But he double checks his card. I don't think he double checks his card if, when he has spades. When you raise and you have two spades, you know exactly that you have two spades. You don't need to double check. That's usually amateur move trying to look like he has a flush draw when he doesn't. Maybe he just double checks his cards with no reason, but I don't know. When you have a flush draw, you try not to double check his cards. I was looking at him. He knows that I'm looking at him. That's an. Okay. If it doesn't, if he has, if he is less likely to have spades or clubs, especially if clubs doesn't see bet this big, so clubs is less likely unless it's like ace ten clubs, king queen of clubs. Okay, can have some. Spades is less likely because he double checks his cards, but obviously he can have spades. But can he have something else? Like ace ten maybe king, king ten. He can shove king ten. He's quite on the aggressive side. 
for the Chef King 10 when the second flush draw hits. He's been eyeing my stack since the flop. He's trying to be discreet about it, but trying to look. I still have a lot of equity if he has even over like kings or something. I'm not dead. This is my nice fake. Swallowing that blood. This is the monster fold. I don't know if I can do this. My hands is such an easy call, but I just really feel bad about this one. The sizing flop, eyeing my stack, double check cards. I don't know if I have enough info to make this insane fold. My hand is super strong. I only started with 18 bigs. But I don't know, bro. Can I? The guy is a little unpredictable. If my read is wrong. God. I was so happy with my hand. I was ready to go with it, but it's, something's off. I just don't know if I have enough info to just fold. If you shove some ton once in a while, some spades and my weed is not perfect or club. But <sighs> it's so less likely that he's bluff now, it's so less likely. I think it's just you can just have Jack 10. That's the only reason I think I'm gonna have to call. If he has Jack-10, Jack-10 is a pretty strong hand. I don't know if he'd be this comfortable, but you know, I just check call flop, so I don't have his Jack. I don't have King Jack. So Jack-10 is kind of the nut, so I think I'm just gonna have to call because of Jack-10, but I don't think his range has all the bluffs that it could have because of how he acts, how he sized, and what he looked at the, the cards. He's a little too unpredictable. There's a small chance he does have something like that. I don't know. Jack 10. Does he, does he open? Yeah, he always open Jack 10. Does he open? King 10? Yeah, he does. Spades over the ace. It just looks so fucking strong. Ah, uh, boy. It's, I don't even know. Jack 10. Is it Jack 10 or his range? This comfortable and this. I really want to fold, but I don't know if I have enough info to fold. This is really, really a strong hand in my range. Super strong in my range, but I really feel like folding this. I really feel like folding this. Do I have enough? I don't know. Do I have enough info to make this hero fold? I don't think I do. God. I almost folded King Queen on this flop. That, that would be an amazing fold. I just didn't. <sighs> could I have a flop? Maybe I could have folded. Would have been an insane fold. <sighs> Boy. You almost didn't take value of that. Hmm? Oh, you almost didn't value that. Yeah, uh, maybe. Let me just get my mask. I don't know, man. I don't know. What about an insane fold? Should I have made that fold? <sighs> maybe I could have made that fold. I've seen it. I saw it. I saw the signs. I saw it. I got the puzzle together. Is it enough to fold that monster? Two flesh draws, I don't know. Anyway. You know what? 10k just the 7 triple draw, that's what's up. No time to lose. I'll think about it when I get home. Now it's time to play. God, that was a close one. Anyway. Let's go. Back to the action. 
another day, another tournament, no time to lose, and the best way to just get over it, just win the next one, so, that's it, let's go, let's play some triple draw. There's no time to waste when you're one of the most successful professionals on the circuit. This season of Inside the Mind of a Pro ends today, but not Team Winamax's performances at the World Series of Poker. After this 41st place in the $10,000 Six Max Tournament, you followed it up with two final tables, Joao, one in Deuce to Seven and the other in the $50,000 High Roller, and your teammates were not to be outdone. In fact, they saved the best for last after the film crew left. With three bracelets won in the space of a week, as magical as it was surreal, Romain Lewis, Adrian Mateos, and Leo Margetz wrote the most beautiful chapter in the history of Team Winamax in just a few days. They also signed the end of an era, that of the World Series at the Rio Casino. From now on, they'll be looking for their next bracelets on the Strip in the heart of Las Vegas. And we will of course be with them in the next season of Inside the Mind of a Pro.